Hello, hello, hello. It's Saturday. I don't normally do a live on a Saturday, but I thought I would jump on today. Um, I'm literally just out of the shower. I did a masterclass this morning all about overcoming overwhelm, and I did it in my pyjamas for a very special reason, because there was a lesson in there. If you want to know what the lesson is, um, send me a message and I'll send you a link to the replay. But anyway, I'm not talking about overcoming overwhelm now. What I want to talk about today is all about burnout and how burnout is real and how because of burnout I missed Lena's 11th birthday outing which was swimming with dolphins in the wild with her because I let myself go to burnoutville. So as mums as women, but particularly mums, we are very, very good at letting ourselves be pushed to the limit. We don't listen to our own bodies. We don't listen to ourselves when things are going wrong. And we wait until our body, our mind literally says, you can't go on any more. I'm slamming on the brakes here. It's time to stop. So what happened to me was um, I'd had this niggle in my neck, my shoulder, um, which wasn't a big deal. It kind of woke me up a bit every now and then at night, and I knew I should probably get it checked out, but it was one of those things, it's fine, I have time, I put it to one side. And in the September, I think it was, I had to take Lena to the doctor. So while I was there, getting her checked out, I just mentioned this thing to the GP, and he said, mm, don't like the look of that, you need an MRI and I'm going to prescribe you, so set you up with some um, osteopath sessions. And I was like, okay, fine, took the prescription, everything, put it to one side. Don't have time for that now, dealing with Lena, she's the one who's ill, blah, blah, blah. Put that to one side, to the bottom of the list. Kept thinking I should go and get that done, I should go and get that done. Yeah, it's still a bit niggly, it's not getting any better, it's possibly getting a bit worse. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Every week, it got pushed further down my to-do list. Until we got to around the end of November and suddenly it got much worse. And I was in agony. And it was so painful that I was taking painkillers, I was waking up quite a lot at night. And so I was like, right, okay, I've heard you body, I'm gonna make the MRI appointment now. So made the appointment, but they couldn't fit me in for another week. And so I had to wait and it was getting worse and worse and worse. And finally, uh, it got so bad that I went to go and see the osteopath, even though he'd said only come and see him once we had the results of the MRI. I went to go and see him because I was in absolute agony. And it was the day before Lena's birthday. We had a boat trip planned with her friends to go and swim with dolphins in the wild. Really excited about it. It was her 11th birthday, it was gonna be one of those out of this world things. So I was like, right, I'm gonna go and see the osteopath, get this sorted so I can go with her, but it was getting worse and worse. And the osteopath managed to make it a bit better, but the night before Lena's birthday, literally, I was awake, kind of doing this silent scream kind of thing, because it was so painful, I was like, <gasps> like this just by all the painkillers I was taking and to the extent that Ben was like do I need to get take you to hospital this looks really bad and I was like no no it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay it's, 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 you know we're just gonna get through it it was so bad that I couldn't go on the boat trip I couldn't go and swim with dolphins in the wild with Lena for her birthday because I just I couldn't move I could just about get myself into one position um, I was literally in pain all the way down here. Childbirth was not a patch on this. Childbirth was a walk in the park in comparison. That's how painful it was. And eventually it did get better with lots of osteo sessions, lots of physio sessions. Um, it went on for a long, long time. Lots of medication. I mean, literally at one stage I was practically rattling. I was taking that much medication. It was so painful. And I realized as I lay in bed, whilst Lena was out swimming with dolphins in the wild with Ben and her friends and I wasn't there, I realized that I had taken this stupid risk. I had stupidly not paid attention to my own health because I was convinced that as a mum, 
my health wasn't that important. It could get put to the bottom of the list. Uh, I didn't have time for it. There would be time later on, later on, later on. And I wasted so much time with osteo and physio sessions because I, it got so bad. And it also meant that I brought everyone in the family down because I wasn't able to do things. I couldn't even dress myself at one point. I could barely shower. I could literally barely do anything. So Ben ended up having to do twice as many parenting chores because I was just pretty much incapacitated. The kids didn't really get much of me because I felt like crap and I was in so much pain. And so because I didn't put myself first and because I didn't concentrate on my own health, everyone in the family suffered. And it was a real wake up call for me. So from then on, I've been really, really careful to make sure that my health, my well-being, my self-care and everything gets looked after properly. So if I do have health niggles, anything like that, I make an appointment, I go and get them checked out. I make sure I'm up to date on all my sort of medical checks, smear tests, um, breast checks, all that kind of stuff. Because when it comes down to it, if I go down, you know, you as the mum, you take the family down with you because you tend to be the one that organises everything, controls everything, looks after everything, makes sure everything is running smoothly. So the reason I'm sharing this is because it's so important that you listen to your body, you listen to your mind, you listen to what your instinct is saying to you. And if it's saying you need to take a break, then you should listen to it. I really regret not listening to my body and not listening to my instinct, which said, you need to take a break, something's not quite right here. So I want to really urge you to listen to yourself very carefully and to not put yourself last. If you look after yourself properly, then you can give so much more and so much better to your loved ones, your other half, to your kids, to your work, to your family, to your friends, to everyone. So it's super important. And because I believe massively in this, on Monday, I am starting a new course called Self First, because if you don't put yourself first, you can't look after the others around you. And it's a six week course. The registration closes tomorrow evening, Sunday night. If you're at all interested, it is www.sophielabrosette.com slash self, little line, first, or drop me a message. We'd love to welcome you on board if you feel like it's time to put yourself first as well. Have an absolutely fantastic weekend, lovely, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.